Finally, tensions have reached an all-time high as the military parade in Kolkata last week showcased the latest innovation in Indian military technology. The new Arjun Mark 1A medium battle tank was on full display on the main streets of the nation's capital as the Indian Foreign Ministry went on an offensive of its own against the Zulu nation, adding to a long list of demands that Zulu Prime Minister Butaletsi describes as unreasonable and unjustifiable. The international community has expressed its concerns at the reported movement of Indian troops, but the Indian Foreign Minister insists that the presence of Indian soldiers in the region was to promote regional stability, lest the Zulu seek to once more conquer and unlawfully hold Indian territory. With the end of the Indo-Mexican War securing Indian hegemony over North America, political theorists think that India has its eyes set on the riches of South America next, and that the territorial demands are simply pretense to go to war, since only the Zulus stand in India's way of securing Fortress America. We'll keep you aware of the situation as it develops, but this was Party Elite with the morning news. Hey everybody, it's Party Elite! Welcome back to our Forging India miniseries in Humankind. I am, as always, thoroughly excited to see where our story takes us next. New ideas will take flight today, folks, as we declare war on the Zulu in just a few turns. We are very close to acquiring the airport and aerial warfare alongside with it. So I'm thinking maybe we hold off on the development of this new technology and we get some airports before we dive into war against the Zulu, primarily because I do really want to show off how airports work and just how much they can change the late game. I mean, even beyond uh, my my fascination with the uh, train stations is the airport. Um, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. But folks, we basically have hegemony over the world, unless the Persians and the Haudenosaunee, or sorry, the Mexicans and the Zulu declare war on us all at the same time, I think we're pretty well in the clear. There's just over 50 turns left in this game. Uh, again, at turn 300 it ends. Well, there are a couple of other, you know, circumstances under which it might end as well, but I do believe we're probably going to hit turn 300. So let's see how far we can expand our territory and just how many cool new technologies we can explore as well. I want to make sure victory happens, of course, but, you know, not too quickly either. Uh, very very quickly, I want to mention again, folks, if you've been enjoying this series, if you would like to see more Humankind, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know uh, by leaving a like and a comment down below. I've received some suggestions with regards to what to pursue next as a series with Humankind. I've got some thoughts of my own as well. Some of you would like to see more sort of forging... Um, playthroughs. Uh, I saw I saw a reference to it as, a, as, as the forging series, and I was like, you know, it's always insightful when... when folks refer to things on the channel in, in that kind of a way because it suggests that people are interested you know, more than I might have assumed otherwise, but uh, I suppose many of you are interested in seeing more, you know, modern day nations kind of get formed using the cultural backstories available in Humankind. I've seen some um, support for, you know, completely wild combinations instead. I've got some ideas of my own, like I was saying, so, you know, keep those suggestions and thoughts and opinions coming, and I'll keep them in mind as we, uh, you know, bring this series to its conclusion. Uh, first things first here, we're going to order our armies to complete their movements, which, uh, which armies and which movements? I, I do wish it would sort of bring us over to whatever it's talking about. But folks, I mean, there is there is a lot going on right now. We are, as a massive nation, there are a lot of moving parts. Uh, we are, of course, trying to uh, go to war with the Zulu. Just as a reminder, we've got all of these demands lined up. I'm hoping to actually acquire all this territory and yes, hopefully South America as well. They're a you know, tiny little city over here. We're already positioned uh, for success, actually. We're, you know, I said I'm going to wait until we declare war, uh, uh, until we have airports and, and then declare war, but the more I think about it, the more I realize I should probably declare war, like, right now, and then prepare myself for a second declaration of war. No, you know what? You know what? No. I'm going to be, I'm going to be just a little patient, right? I'm sure we'll regain that war support for a follow-up war in, like, no time. Uh, so I'm just going to be a little patient, and I want to at least get the, uh, the, the airports enabled. So we're going to keep this battle tank over here as well. Well, this, uh, I should say medium tank, rather, right over here as well. Um, six turns until another one becomes available. Oh, we're, we're going to crush the opposition, folks. We're going to crush the opposis opposition. Uh, Onondaga, what to do over here? Um, we do have access now to the aerodrome, uh, so that will give us access to uh, very basic very basic uh, planes. But we might as well, I guess, get a head start on, on establishing some, some of these uh, aerodromes. Uh, 
part of me wants to not really do anything because I wouldn't mind absorbing these guys into each other or maybe burning uh, Onondaga down and... Uh, and attack. Oh, you know what, actually? Here, let's go ahead and establish the aerodrome because if we attach... Uh on, if we burn Onondaga down and then attach the territory to Cahokia, uh, we would still have access to the aerodrome and its uh, usage because uh, you can only build one per territory. Well, hold on. Actually, I don't know if it's only one per territory. Oh, okay, you can have as many as you want in a territory, but you could they, 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 they exist anywhere outside of a city. And so we can definitely attach it and, and retain its use. Uh, let's pop you down, maybe somewhere down south over here, I think. So we have a bit of a, bit of a reach. Because uh, to, to move planes around, you have to go from aerodrome to aerodrome. There's a limit to how far they can go. Uh, so you kind of want to place them, you want to position them strategically uh, to make sure you are, you know, actually maximizing their range and things like that. Mumbai, what about an aerodrome for you as well? Maybe somewhere, uh, um, oh, we, we can't place them on rivers. We could pop you down maybe up over here somewhere. Now, aerodromes and airports are very different. They serve different purposes. Aerodromes are purely for uh, fighter planes and fighter jets and things like that, bombers and things like that, whereas airports can be used to transport troops around. Uh, and they both work a little differently, uh, and their positioning does matter. And I, I quite enjoy just how much the positioning uh, matters for these kinds of things in uh, in humankind. But uh, yeah, really excited to explore some of these things. Oh man, we're we're acquiring quite a few stars, eh? We're at seven stars for this era already. We're not going to be finishing this game off by acquiring all of the stars. That's just out of reach. I mean, especially the uh, the the athlete star over here. Funny to see though that the expansionist stars have already all been collected. Uh, but yeah, it'll 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 be some time before all of them are acquired. The game will be done uh, before then for sure. Uh, let's keep this tank over here waiting five more turns. We're acquiring quite a bit of wealth as well. So I think once we unlock the uh, technology to do it, uh, we'll be able to um, get those airports built right away. We'd be able to rush them out, right? I'm gonna hang on to these guys for now because we only have four thousand um, influence, and I think I'd rather spend it on uh, our our establishment of gloss over here uh, because they do have this silver that I wouldn't mind having and that's in five turns five turns takes us to 1500 influence give or take which is not enough to establish another territory so we're gonna hang tight uh, seems though we have robbed the Zulu of their iron over here we could continue uh, to to rob them of more resources or we could just kind of like push up over here and, and help with uh, with Ulundi get into position against uh, Avaris instead, perhaps. If we bring both of our tanks uh, to strike at Ulundi, then we might be able to, uh, you know what, hmm. These compositions aren't, like, ideal, per se. Because uh, I, I do like still having infantry that can, like, get into the city walls and things like that. Um, you know what, sure, why don't we go ahead and send these guys up towards Avaris. Uh, and then what we'll do is, when we establish our airports, we'll get one built. I'm thinking... Hmm. I wonder if we'll have reach, actually. Because it'd be nice to do it, uh... Do, like, a, a quick job of it, I suppose. Sure, why don't we go ahead and move these guys up over here. Move towards Avaris. And I wonder if we'll move these guys, these Dragoons, over as well. And then bring some tanks to support our Redcoats down over here, you know? Um... Yeah, sure, let's do that, let's do that. How many turns will this take? Three turns, four turns, maybe? Okay, good timing. You know, we'll, we'll arrive right around the right time. Avaris, at least last we saw, it wasn't a very large city. So hopefully going in with just cavalry isn't going to bite us in the butt. And we'll uh, we'll, we'll win our assault on Avaris as well as uh, everywhere else we strike at the same time. These guys, again, they're hanging tight before they strike at the, uh, the city over here. So hold fast. Same goes over here. And you as well. Soon, those settlers will be allowed to actually settle. Oh, you know which troops are being sent um, forward? I'm assuming it's this. No, these guys. Well, they do have their orders. Uh, I, I assume these are the guys that are moving every time I say, you know, continue with your movement. Uh, Kahokia, what to do with you? Um, two turns to get an aerodrome. Might not be a terrible idea. It adds pollution, so we do have to be careful about that. Pollution is going to skyrocket if we just throw aerodromes down everywhere, right? We're going to have one uh, when this one's built. We're going to have one already. So why don't we go ahead and instead pursue... Um, let's go with some sciences. The alchemist workshop doesn't seem like a bad idea. 
or the uh, manuscript atelier first, and then we'll do the alchemist workshop, sure. End our turn there. Looks like we're about to acquire an agrarian star as well over here, if we haven't already. Oh yeah, we're, we're one away. I read those numbers backwards of the requirement versus the current value. Uh, oops, but yeah, so we're almost there as well. And these guys, yeah, these guys are the ones that are moving. Oh, it's so beautiful. This game is so beautiful. Like, I, I, <laughs> I can't get over how gorgeous it is sometimes. All right, you're hanging tight still. Four more turns, hang tight, hang tight. I should just probably station them instead, you know? Save myself this dance every uh, every turn. Uh, another aerodrome for Mahenjadaro. I mean, these, like, you know what? Actually, yeah, this makes this makes a ton of sense. Let's go ahead and get one down. Oh, the rivers, unfortunately, uh, are blocking our establishment. So why don't we go ahead and put one down over here? Kind of as close as we can get. So from Mumbai and Mumbai's aerodrome to, uh, to Mahenjadaro's aerodrome should not be a problem. Uh, Pasuchim Nagar, when the opportunity comes, which will be next turn, why don't we go ahead and plan it right now? We'll put an aerodrome down. Um, oh, it'd be nice to have a base down over here, right, in case the uh, the Persians try anything. And, and, and we haven't been to war with the Persians in a long time, so I wouldn't be surprised if that does come up sometime soon. Um, positioning up over here against the Zulu also makes sense. Let's start with one down south over here. Yeah, all the way up over here. Good, uh, good, good threatening position, I suppose, to, to position our uh, our air force at. All right, good stuff. End our turn there. And you know, what? I think I will station some of our uh, our armies. My only concern with doing that is, um, of course, the uh, the fact that uh, I might I might miss something, I might miss uh, an opportunity. But let's station you. Like if I forget about uh, an army, I, I highly doubt that'll happen. Though these guys are in enemy territory, so we can't um, do anything about that. Station you, sure. I, I don't think I'll be forgetting about these guys. Let's keep you creeping forward. I need to declare war to proceed with this action. Fair enough. It'll take us a couple of turns to strike at Avaris. Um, really, I have to dance all the way around to get up to there? Are you for real? Oh, come on. How many turns will it take? Seven turns to get up to there. I'm not willing to wait that long. I would rather wait the two turns it'll take for us to strike from, uh, from over here, you know? Like, all right, so the war will last one turn more than I would, I would rather, you know, but it, it's fine. It's fine. Hang tight over here. All right, good. Uh, Onondaga. Oh, wow, you're already done your aerodrome, eh? Okay. A little bit faster than I expected. Uh, we could go ahead and spend the 23 turns it takes to make this biplane. I don't think that's a good idea, because in like five turns, we're going to start burning Onondaga down. And it won't take very long after that to, to get it done. So why don't we go ahead and... Um, there's got to be something more valuable we can do. Research quarters? Oh yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and get that up over here. Because again, right, eventually it'll tie into Cahokia and, and, and provide some benefits. It's our turn done over here. I wonder if uh, there are more demands we can make of the Zulu. Nope, only withdraw. That's obviously not going to happen anytime soon. Got these idle armies, hang tight. Uh, go ahead and rest you guys, keep you guys there as well. You can wait two turns. Next turn we'll have access to our uh, airports. And again, before we can actually make any of the more advanced... Um, bombers and stuff we will have to acquire aluminium uh so that'll take some time that might not be in this coming war but i, I do want to show off how the uh, the airports work and hopefully y'all don't mind the uh the the slight weight in for the declaration of this war the slight weight um you imagine the tension though in the international community as all this is happening it's just like um <laughs> nine turns before completion well we're not gonna wait nine turns before we start building airports and stuff so why don't we go ahead and over here get the hmm, charcoal kiln sure or oh you know what food is actually no we're still fine so sure the charcoal kiln why not and if, if need be we can pay for it and, and rush to the airport sip bar up over here as well again we're not going to be uh, waiting too long let's go ahead and get the fishery happening uh, and then next turn we should be able to start establishing some uh, some airports sip bar We'll probably put an airport down like somewhere over here. It gives us easy access to Ulundi and, you know, whatever else is in here as well. And what do we have over here? London. Why don't we go ahead and establish for London a uh, printing house? Yeah. Still stay focused on science a little bit because we want to try and get as far as possible in the next 50 turns. But folks, we are now uh, at the last 50 turns of our uh, Forging India series here. It'll all come to an end soon. There's aerial warfare researched. Excellent. 
A new wonder can be claimed as well. Oh, how you tempt me, game. How you tempt me. Because I know it's going to be the Empire State Building and the Sydney Opera House. Oh, man. The Sydney Opera House is actually quite good for us. It fits our kind of playthrough as well, considering, you know, our Australian colonization. Um, and, and you can see the increase in food, money, industry, and science on calm cities. Like, that is big. That is big. But this is expensive. 5,200 influence. It would take us, what, like 10 turns before we'd be able to claim a territory? If I'm not mistaken, are you guys almost done? One more turn. We'll hold off on claiming. We'll see how much it would cost. I mean, these guys, where are we? Down over here. We can check with these guys. It'll cost how much? It'll cost, yeah, 3,300. <laughs> if we keep acquiring more uh, more cities, folks, it, it'll just, uh, oh God, it'll just get pricier and pricier. Or harder and harder, I should say. Oh crap, that was a mistake. Not the end of the world, because it's not like these guys are doing anything this turn anyway. Difficult, very difficult. Um, what, What's actually going on over here? One more turn until the tank is done? Yeah, so you guys will hang tight one more turn. Uh, and then after this tank is done, let's go ahead and establish our airport. Now the airport has a couple of uh, uses. Not only can it provide air trade routes, not that trade is going to be happening at this stage of the game, unfortunately, uh, but it can also generate money off of adjacent market quarters, and again, it can help move troops extremely quickly. So you kind of want to position it uh, to try and take advantage of the two ladder elements especially. So you can put market quarters next to it, but also so that you can get soldiers to it um, more easily and more quickly rather than not. So we're going to go ahead and put our airport down, I think, um, down over here kind of makes sense because we could put a market quarter down over here actually and then it would get the benefit of the uh, the harbor and it would get the benefit of, uh, or it would give the benefit to the airport as well so why don't we go ahead and get this airport happening over here and we'll get the uh, market quarter happening over here right afterwards I believe we do have oil available an oil well is uh, within our reach over here we take one turn to make, eh? It's not bad um, but I'm, I'm actually wondering if we want to get an aerodrome down as well so that we can establish uh some of these guys more quickly. I mean, again, Kolkata is the best as far as industry is concerned. I also just noticed our food situation. Why don't we go ahead and move one of our... There we go. Perfect. Beautiful. Not like it hurts our... Uh... Oh, actually, does it? No, it doesn't. We're not waiting three turns for the airport. Don't worry. We're going to be we're gonna be rushing it. We're going we're gonna to be paying for it. Sipar up over here. Uh, let's go ahead and establish your airport. Oh, we'll, we'll pay for this one as well. Uh, somewhere up over here, I feel like... Uh, there's a couple of good spots. I mean, right next to the river, maybe. And then we can make our way over. Um, I don't want to, like, build this with just one, uh, you know, like, battle in mind, obviously. I want to build this in an optimal location for the future. You can only build one per territory. So for up over here, I say we go ahead and, yeah, pop it down over here. Again, tanks can traverse rivers relatively easily. Very interesting building all these airports next to, um, <laughs> next to mountains and hills, as opposed to on top of them. Sure, let's pop you down over here um also makes sense you know it's close to the notre dame the future location of the notre dame kind of makes sense for uh for a touristy kind of a thing uh we could also put an airport down over here to, but that would be more of a uh like a commerce you know like a commercial airport i suppose rather than a military one um because we can make some money over here i don't know if that's really worth it though truth be told how long would it take you to make a biplane seven turns hmm we could get them started where is the closest aluminium deposit, though? I know we have some in the area. Oh, up over here. That's attached to Bustinugger, isn't it? It is indeed. In three turns, we'll be done the aerodrome. In two turns, we can be done the aluminium mine. So why don't we go ahead and swap this around, and then we can start making some of those more advanced fighter jets and stuff like that. Have more at the ready for, uh, for when the next war comes. So that, the aerodrome, and then perhaps an airport as well, so we can quickly move troops over. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Mohenjo Daro, what to do with you, though? We are waiting again for the aluminium now. That'll take two turns. So let's do something that'll take two turns over here. Uh, um, it's quite a bit. It'll take just one. The Great Fish Market, plus four money on harbor, on the one, uh, like, pond harbor we have, I suppose. And that's an option. We could instead get, uh... Hmm. Sure. Customs Farm? Oh, it's based on trade. Taxation Office is gonna take too long. Theater for the extra influence? Sure, why not? And let's add to it, um... Yeah, Commons Court is also tempting, isn't it? All right, we'll do the theater and we'll, we'll figure out something else for, 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 for next turn. Uh, one more turn for this tank to arrive. Let's go ahead and end this turn. 
Good stuff. Good stuff. Those two tanks will arrive in short order. Ooh, what's happening over here? How can I help you? Kinship. Wow, we actually got along. That's actually a, a quite reflective of uh, of uh, real world history. Uh, India and, and 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 Japan have. Uh, well, this is I mean Edo Japan, uh, but India and Japan have uh, uh, very good relations. Uh, very good relations, but uh, that that is of course you know a modern modern era Japan. I don't know about uh, historically how India and Edo Japan were. Uh, uh, diplomatically or anything like that what's going on over here so i've demanded that they break their alliance with the persians they want some territory that they're not going to get from us because they betrayed us okay nothing going on over here i guess they've just become suspicious of us and that's that's what was being highlighted there all right time for war i think right because kolkata over here is going to build its airport for eight thousand five hundred. yeah that's something we can rush out for sure and then sipar how much is yours going to cost Five turns, 8,300 as well. All right, cool. Uh, the tanks should be able to move this turn. Yes. So let's go ahead and rush this airport. I'm really excited for this. Um, oh, no. I was like, oh, no, did I queue you down at the wrong spot? No, that's our that's our market quarter, right? So let's rush you. First airport promises international travel, intercourse between nations. Uh, might I rephrase that? That's priceless. <laughs> Look at that, though. Look at that plane taking off. Honestly, um, oh, this one's kind of weird. I uh, never noticed that before. But the the way the map comes to life in this game as you develop things is just one of those one of those amazing elements. Uh, and you'll see when we have fighter planes and stuff, you'll see how they patrol. It just it really is something special. It really is something special. All right, that's our first airport down, Sipar. Let's go ahead and establish our second. All right, get her done. Beauty, there it is. And uh, let's go ahead and, 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 and show just how insane uh, airports can be. So we've got our two uh, medium battle tanks here. Let's go ahead and move them over to our airport. So this is why you want it to be close to where unit recruitment actually takes place, because you have to actually move to the airport. And then you have to say, all right, let's go ahead and load up the planes, right? And then you pick the destination airport and say, let's uh, let's bring us over to here. Now, I wish again, much like the trains, I wish there was like a unique animation to bring these guys over. But instead, uh, you'll see we kind of just like pop up there. It'd be really nice to see an, uh, a plane like very quickly, you know, just like uh, take off or something and fly across the map and actually land something, anything, anything to bring an extra layer to it, you know. But just like that, we're there. We have all of our movement points preserved. Uh, we're able to get close and then these guys can trigger the actual battle itself and uh, and, and that'll, 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 <laughs> that'll do the trick. I believe I can start the war by or like I can attack uh, just like that even actually cool uh so these guys are in position these guys unfortunately again will take a couple turns to uh to get up there let's go ahead and unstation them just so i have the reminders uh these guys down over here as well let's go ahead and unstation you so we're all in position these guys are done ransacking we could establish this territory first before somebody else takes it from us and then we can get the silver so let's go ahead and claim territory at the cost of 3300 influence we knew that was coming um, 19, 10, 22, 9. Sure, let's pop it down over here. There it is. There's our silver. And then we'll go ahead and burn uh, Onondaga down after it's done its research quarters as well, right? Uh, okay, great. So that's that. And uh, to war we go, I suppose. Six idle armies. We have an idle city at Sipar. Uh, Sipar, what to do with you? Aerodrome? Seven turns it'll take. Again, we can rush it, right? We can rush it. I'm just trying to figure out if I want to put a put an aerodrome down like somewhere over here so that we could uh, get air support, you know, further up ahead. Or up over here, maybe. Whoops, that's an airport. Uh, the aerodrome. Up over here? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. If we if we ever have to fight, I think that's close enough to give us support against the uh, the Mexicans in Scandinavia here. Um Let's go ahead and uh, get this war started. Wait, hold on. We have one more idle city. Sorry, just, just doing all the housekeeping first, if you will. Let's go ahead and get this uh, aluminium, I suppose. It'll take three turns, and then we can go ahead and... Uh, oh, actually, hold on. Don't we already have access to... Nah, this isn't done yet. Eh? One more turn, I think. Where is uh, where is it? Uh, Buster Nugget, one more turn. Yeah, okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. One more idle city. Jeez. Keep popping up. We have so many of them. Uh, what about the... Did I get the airport down? I did not, right? Okay. 
What about, what about, what about, what about? All right, I see what happened. Feast. And then we can get those planes happening, right? Because these guys need one and one, one and two. Okay, well, a strategic bomber will have to wait until Mumbai's, uh, Mumbai, sorry, has its aluminum mine done as well. All right, cool. Now it's time for war. The Zulu, prepare to meet your end. We've got all these demands. They'll come cheaply once the war is won. Let's go ahead and declare it. Now, again, being the ones that declared war means that we will be, you know, slowly losing war support. But we're going to win this war so quickly, I don't think that's going to be a, a concern at all. Go ahead and move these guys up as close as possible. I feel like we're going to get blocked part way because the city must have expanded, right? But let's move... Uh, hold on. Let's actually move these guys in first. Just because they're a little bit further back. I want to send them in first and, and, and see what's going on. Uh, and then send these guys in right afterwards. Oh, yeah, it looks like they have expanded in the perfect direction. Excellent. That's great for us. Let's go ahead and move you up to uh, here, I think. Oh. Oh, look at that deployment zone, though. Oh, that's kind of scary. All right, let's get these guys up over here. We should be fine. I mean, again, against their, like, peasant defenders and stuff like that, we should be A-OK. -okay. But, but, but let's kick things off with the fireworks down over here, right? Bring the uh, medium tanks over to strike at Olundi with our reinforcements. Let's begin. Look at that music, that tension music building up. Uh, let's do it. It's assault. And a manual battle, of course. Now these guys... <laughs> they'll, they'll, they'll end things before they even start. Um, sure, I think our deployment is fine. Um... Pull you up to here, I suppose. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Um, uh, yeah, it's funny, actually. The the fortifications and stuff are ridiculously powerful. It 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 it, it makes sense, I guess. But uh, but I mean, I don't know. They're they're built. How 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 modern are their buildings that they're able to defend themselves so much? It's that plus eight bonus from districts. I think that's really making the difference there. Uh, so fair enough. I kind of wish I'd position these guys a bit differently, but hey, it's okay. Uh, it's okay. I could crawl up and fire up over there instead. These guys could fire down over here. We could soften these guys up. I mean, am I really concerned? Not actually. Fire away. Let's go. Hold on. Get the uh, get the right camera angle here. Fire away. <laughs> oh my god, it's ridiculous. I love it. Move you up. Fire up over here. Beautiful. Beautiful. And uh, let's go ahead and get these guys to fire down over here. Get you... Oh, hello. Can you guys fire... You're on the... Oh, it's the, the, the... is the river hurting us? Yeah. So let's go ahead and push these guys up to there, sure. That's what I thought. So let's eliminate some folks, right? Fire away. Down they go. These guys can fire over here. If we're lucky, we'll eliminate them. Beauty. There it is. Move these guys um, up to here, sure. Surprised we can't hit these guys, actually. Oh, let's fire down over here. Soften them up. Let them charge us. We'll wipe them out. I believe that's our... There it is. Come on, attack the tank. I dare you. I'd love to see it. Oh, they tried. Look, points for trying, right? Good stuff. That's the end of that battle. These tanks are ridiculously powerful. The only reason this battle lasted as long as it did is because they had those, uh, the, the districts that kept them safe. There's our militarist star, there's our victory at Olundi, but yes, the warriors is in blue, I think is, uh, is, 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 a, is, a, is, a, is a good source of fortification if memory serves right. Uh, all right, Olundi is ours though, up over here, Avaris will be ours as well, a little worried after that, you know? And, and we don't have the biggest advantage, truth be told, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a marginal advantage of 20... Uh, points, but I think that's largely because of like fortification and stuff. Should I target things a little differently? Don't know if I can really. I guess I could do this. Gives us hmm. Just keeps us a bit further from from up there, I guess, when we deploy down over here. Um, I think either way works really. Like hemming and hawing over something entirely useless, I suppose. But it's the difference between having the gudgeon at first and 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 not. Oh, you know what? It'll be fine either way, I think. All right, let's go. Ah, they're going to step out. So it's it's not going to be fine either way. Our side is weaker overall. We'll make it a manual battle, of course. 
Uh, and if they manage to take that, then we'll be in a touch of trouble. Go ahead and take you up over to here. A little worried about the high ground over there. Uh, let's go ahead and take you, I suppose, back over here. Uh, the flag's over here, though, of course. On the river, it has to be. has to be on the river. Let's put you up over there, then. Get the uh, the, the, the tree cover's not going to help us. These guys aren't ranged or anything like that. What are we up against, actually? Just a bunch of draftees. All right, we should be fine. As long as we can get my reinforcements... Good stuff, good stuff, good shooting. See some movement up over here. We're all right. Kind of getting surrounded over here. It's a dangerous battlefield. Oh, oh, coming in from behind. That's a surprise. They must have come looped around this way, eh? All right, look. It's over. It's over. Um, I have the low ground. Bring these horses out. Uh, let's go ahead and pull them over to where? Sure, let's pull these guys over to here. Just to see what's going on, just to have an idea of, uh... Knowledge is power, right? It's also half the battle. Fire these guys, go ahead and wipe them out, I suppose. Yep. Take a knee. No, <laughs> don't take a knee, you're on horseback, what are you doing? Uh, we can go ahead and fire at these guys, eliminate them. Fire up here, not eliminate them. Um, alright, here, let's, let's go ahead and eliminate these guys. Pull you... Uh, back, I suppose. Get you up over here to the, uh, no high ground for you. All right, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Not ideal, not ideal. Uh, let's go ahead and, and, and get the gudgeonal out before I forget. Move you up to there. The gudgeonal can eliminate who? Neither of them, actually. Hmm, that's unfortunate. I was hoping we'd get rid of these guys by sending these guys down over here, but, uh, oops, I guess. Go ahead and fire down over here. Get a bit of damage done. Let's get these guys to fire up over here. We might lose a unit of Dragoons. I don't think so, though. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. That's the round done. Indeed it is. Come at me. Oh, what a shot. We're all right up there. Oh, Gudgeonel's got some work done. Yeah, we took a bit of damage there. We took a bit of damage, but we're okay. I think we'll, I think we'll be fine. Let's go ahead and uh, get the Gudgeonel to fire down over here, I think. Ah, huh. yeah, okay. Fire over here. Down you go. Beauty. You guys... That high ground advantage of theirs is, is, is hurting our, our chances. Not the end of the world, but... It is reducing our, our, our combat strength. Or, rather, I should say, it's, uh, it's increasing theirs. Go ahead and fire over here. Come on. Good stuff. Pull these guys back, send these guys up, try and gain them some veterancy. I could send the three veteran unit up to eliminate them, but I'd rather, you know, try and gain some veterancy for our other units as well. Fire away. Victory at Avaris. Beautiful. Is that... Oh. They've got musketeers somewhere, do they? Well, that's a little concerning, I'm not going to lie to you. Let's go ahead and send these guys down this way. The reason why it's concerning is because I don't want these guys to die. And against the Musketeers, we might. Oh, I'm not sure which, where they might come from. Oh, okay. Let's end the round there. See what comes for us. Hmm. I'm being real cheeky, aren't they? All right, let's send these riders down this way. Where are you? Where are you? Send you over. I'm, I'm wondering if they're like tucked way up over here. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, again, we're the defenders, so we just have to hold on to our flag. We're not the attacker here. They must be making their way over. They must be making their way over. Okay, we know we're safe back over here, so let's pull back to there and pull you back to here as well. Just trying to stay away from... Uh, from those musketeers as much as possible. Oh, what if they're up over there? Oh no, that could be bad. Oh, damn, they've managed to extend this uh, war for longer than I would have expected. All right, fair enough, fair enough. That's okay, not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. It'll at least last one more turn. Let's go ahead and move in. Get the job done over here. I don't even know the name of this city. I just know I'm going to strike at it. Ooh. Maybe not the best angle over here. We might lose a unit. Um, don't 
don't think I will have a better angle, though. I mean, I guess I could come down from there. Yeah, I should have thought, uh, thought about that with so many extra turns to plan. But we don't know just how far they've expanded, right? All right, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Go ahead and deploy like this. So we have room for all of our units, at least. They're going to attack. We'll make it a manual battle, of course. And up front, we have our musketeers. I guess that makes sense, because they can't move and shoot. So let's keep them over there. Ah, it's unfortunate not everyone will be able to fire at every sort of turn, but or every round, but we'll be okay. Let's begin. The Zulu come first. Strike them down. Come on. What are you doing with this little boat of yours? Must we seek vengeance upon it? Yes. Yes, we must. That's okay. That's just one more target for us to hit. Ooh, they got they got they got a few they got a few boats. <laughs> not a fan of that actually. More boats than I'd like them to have. Here we go. We're going to lose this unit of musketeers, I'm fairly certain. Not a very strong unit. They're not ideally positioned either. And of course, there's like some high ground over here we need to concern ourselves with as well. So not ideal. Not ideal. All right. Go ahead and... Uh, hmm. Well, we're going to fire back for sure. Let's go ahead and eliminate this uh, Karak up over here. Down it goes. Send these guys... Don't want to lose the high ground, but I feel like I have to over here. Alright, up we go. Send you up this way, I suppose. Because I can't... Uh, can't fire anything from here. Alright, sure. Bring you up. Get you to fire over here. Probably should have hit the Karak instead. But I've, I've, I've accepted that we're going to lose this unit of Musketeers. Because they're going to fire first and they're going to come through. Oh, not the decision I would have made personally, but all right. Oh, no, there we go. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, now who's next? Oh, wow, that's definitely not the decision I would have made personally. Crossing the river over here hurt us. Oh, barely surviving here. I, I wonder if they'll make it. I could try and pull them back and keep them alive. Ah, there they go. That's unfortunate. Doing okay. Holding this uh, river bend over here. Ah, beautiful, beautiful. See, our disadvantage here was that we were the ones crossing the river. Uh, but uh, but here we were all crossing the river, so we're able to turn that around in our favor. Good stuff. Unfortunately, a little loss of life over here. That's uh, part and parcel with war, isn't it? Go ahead and destroy this Carrick. Open fire across the river over here. Well, how many, how many soldiers do they have left? One, two, three, one, two, three, and there's a fourth one somewhere. All right, well, let's eliminate this unit. Down they go. Go ahead and push up. Open fire on these guys, I think, because they have that high ground, right? Remove that from their uh, set of advantages. Let them come at us. I think we'll be okay here. There it is. Beauty. Beauty. One more unit. There it is. Of course, they'll take the high ground as often as they can. Can't blame them for that. Are they safe, though? All right. Pull you back. Send you forward. Full strength, extra veterancy. Should be able to eliminate them. Go for it. And just like that, Kwa Bulawayo is now ours as well, as is Mount Roraima. Beauty. With sheer cliffs and a plateau often hidden by low-hanging clouds, the peak inspires awe to those in its foothills. Gives us plus 5 influence, plus 10 stability, and plus 10 money as well. First discovered by the Mexicans, now under Indian control. Good stuff. Good stuff. Of course, we have to maybe... It depends on if we hold on to this city or not, or, or what comes of it, but uh, how is this war looking? Damn, that plus 25 is huge, isn't it? <laughs> that plus 25 is huge. But they would have been at 100 uh, had we not, uh, you know, counter countered some of it with our recent victories over here. So that's fine. It's fine. It's still good for us, but it just doesn't look as good as it actually is. Down over here, hang tight. And let's go ahead and end our turn. I'm very curious about this battle over here and where those musketeers actually are. These soldiers next head towards Memphis. Um, and we'll... Uh, We'll secure the war pretty quickly, I think. Pollution in this territory is fortunately low. Wouldn't it be lovely to keep it that way? I'm a little concerned here. 
a little concerned. Oh, this this is okay. This is all right. These guys pushed out to take the flag, but uh, they didn't they didn't manage to you know eliminate anything. So that's good. Go ahead and move you up to here. Fire down from up on high. Soften them up. <laughs> nice. And let's go ahead and bring these guys up. Bring some support in. Bring these guys over as well. Trying to get all those adjacency bonuses. Like uh, friendly unit adjacency bonuses. Move you up to here. And these guys can fire down. Try and get that veteran C if possible. Oh, beautiful. There it is. And up over here. Ah, no veteran C, but hey. That's okay. Uh, one step closer and the battle is won. It's the end of the siege at Avaris. Look at the size of this city. Wow. This city grew massive. Absolutely massive. I love I love seeing the map develop, man. It's so cool. Alright, it's Avaris Rs now. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I'm not wasting you, Sam. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're making this real quick. The tank can come all the way down to here in one turn. They're pretty fast. They're not they're not like ridiculously fast. We could go up to the airport instead and land where? Mmm. Uh, that doesn't make sense. We'd go back up just to land down over here or something. If we establish another airport, we could have... Nah, there's no real no real uh, advantageous spot to end up at. Uh, what we could do, do though, is um, stack these guys together, save a bit of money that way. I don't think it's important. Go ahead and move. Go ahead and push down. Let's go. Come on. Just gotta make sure they stay close enough together to reinforce each other, of course, should the uh, worst come to pass. And these guys, the red coats, do heal when they're in foreign territory as well, so we don't have to worry about that. All right, good stuff, good stuff. Ooh, civic backlashes, all right. Let's take a look at uh, some of that. At Ulundi, because of civics osmosis with the uh, Zulu, or the, sorry, yes, the Zulu. Fundamental values. Let's take a look at what's going on over here. I thought we'd already made a decision here. Public happiness is our decision, or was our decision. Uh, and people are pushing back against that? Is that is that what I'm understanding here? I could refuse. It would make Olundi quite upset. Or I could revoke public happiness. Olundi, Olundi is not about that public happiness life. Uh, you know what? Stability here is already terrible. Uh, they've just been conquered after all. We will refuse this demand that we change our way of life. No, not at all. Not at all. Defy this foreign interference at a stability cost. We don't even know if we're going to holding if we're going to be holding on to Ulundi after all, right? Um, maybe, and we'll we'll burn it down if we hold on to it. All right, these guys, um, hang tight. I suppose there's not much else for them to do down here. Uh, we 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 can burn Kwabula, uh, Kwabulaweyo down, but that can only happen uh, after the war. You can't. Oh, hey, hello. Maybe I was mistaken. I guess uh, has that been changed? I guess so. That's the downside of uh, open dev. Was like I got so used to some of the open dev systems. It used to be that you weren't able to ransack a conquered city until after the war was over, and you've actually taken administration over it. But hey, looks like we can do it now, which is fantastic. Let's go ahead and move up to Onondaga, where there is an event. Uh, it's always uh, w weird when that happens. It's it almost feels like. Uh, I don't know, it feels very strange when that happens. Can we attach glass over here? Is there anything, any reason not to? We could get a harbor down, I suppose. Uh, up over here kind of makes sense, you know, just kind of like a nice spot for it, I suppose. Not really helpful per se, but it is a nice spot. Oh, you know what? This is a nice spot for it, actually. Just because like the, uh, an, an entry into the uh, the area uh, feels like a defensible position, even though that's not what this stuff is, but feels feels right, feels right. Go ahead and attach you for 19 influence. Feel like that's a reasonable price to pay. Sure. Yeah, decent bump to these numbers. And what's going on over here? It can't be helped. Uh, what? This is uh, not right. <laughs> Your war with the Zulu, I assume. I, I assume. Your war with the Zulu still rages, but now a troubling consideration has arisen in the city of... The Indians. There are whispers of spies and treason, and one group in particular has been singled out. Those in the city who have historical or family ties to the enemy. These civilians have done nothing wrong yet, but an undercurrent of fear and violence runs through the streets. What will you do? So a curfew, a little extra police vigilance may be necessary, but all your citizens must be protected, no matter their origins. 
I'm on board with curfew. Imprison. There is a time-honored tactic for dealing with situations like these. Imprison the offending group. All of them. Or conscript. They're either with you or against you. Give these people the opportunity to prove themselves by enlisting them in the armed forces. What are we, the Sith? So this would give us sacrificing on Onondaga, reducing food, but also reducing the cost of recruiting new units. Patriotic would reduce the cost of recruiting units across the board. Or locked down would add to stability but reduce overall industrial output. I think we'll go with a curfew here. I think that's most fitting um, given, you know, who we're playing as and, and how we've been uh, of late. I feel like curfew is the most fitting uh, option over here. It does have chance of triggering other narrative events, so I'm curious to see what comes next. Lockdown isn't ideal for the industrial production of the city, but Onondaga is going to be burned down anyway, which is probably another good reason to have a curfew here. A little extra police vigilance may be necessary, but all your citizens must be protected, no matter their origins. All right. Tough, tough, uh, tough decision that has to be made sometimes. Uh, Commons Quarters is up next. Let's go ahead and establish one right up top over here. A beautiful view. Why not? And uh, when that's done, we'll start burning Onondaga down. Up over here, hang tight. And then Mohenjo-Daro, what to do with you? Oh, we have aluminium now, don't we? Yes, we do. We have enough for our monoplane fighter. Ten turns it'll take. Uh, I don't even know if... Uh... I mean, that's our aerodrome, right? Look at the planes and stuff. It's so cool. All right, let's go ahead and do the monoplane fighter. 19.4k. We won't be able to rush it too quickly. It'll take a few turns before we can rush it. Um, but I think it's within range of, of Memphis. It'd be nice to be able to use it. 19k though. I won't be able to use it. I won't, I won't have access to it this uh, war, potentially. Potentially. Bustin Nagar is building its aerodrome. All right, cool. End our turn there. We'll strike at Memphis. How's this looking? Pretty good. Oh, don't call me names. Come on now. Bend the knee. Let's end this fighting. Go ahead and bring the tank down. Well, let's make sure these guys are able to keep up, of course. They'll get stuck by, like, in the river. This is where that airport could have actually... Well, no. I'm saying it could have come in handy, but we would have... Uh, the closest we would have been able to land is, like, up over here. We'd still have to pass through the river. Uh, let's go ahead and send you down. Just to see what's going on. See how far this has expanded. If we strike over here, our soldiers will be available as reinforcements. We'll have decent deployment uh, areas. What are they going to do? Attack our tanks? Are we really concerned about that? I don't think so. Let's take Memphis. They're actually going to push forward. They're actually going to push forward. Well, of course, we'll fight. We have to secure our uh, <laughs> flag there. Let's not deploy too far back. Sure, let's position ourselves over here, a little bit of high ground. Let's protect the flag as well. Reinforcements will arrive from the side, and uh, Bob's your uncle, as they say. Oh, what's that up there? All right, here we go. Zulu move first. Those Hussars, man, are you kidding me, for real? Oh my god. Even a tank can't, uh, can't eliminate them. You know, one thing that's always fascinated me, one thing I've always thought was pretty cool, why are we damaging ourselves so much with every hit? Okay, first of all, that was dope. That was sick. That was so cool. Just seeing the tank and hearing the tank. Hopefully the audio came through. That's why I stayed quiet at the end there for a moment. Hearing the tank like move its turret around and open fire as those guys are charging at it. That was awesome. That was awesome. Um, anyway, sorry. So what I was going to say was one thing I've always found rather fascinating is that in World War One, I, I suppose it would be... Um, uh, there were there were there was probably there were probably times on the battlefield not like literally i'm speaking kind of like it's, it's rhetoric right uh, there were probably times on the battlefield where a commanding officer would say the cavalry has arrived and as a soldier you wouldn't know if that cavalry was on horseback or on tracks right this is, and this is like just like an embodiment of of of, of that that i like to say uh, but i'm curious actually why were we taking so much damage when um when we were firing, because now I'm a little worried about uh, opening more shots. Immune to suppression is the only spe the sp specialty here. So I'm very curious about uh, about that weirdness. That that ain't that ain't right, man. That ain't right. All right, let's move you 
move this tank up to here. Fire from up on high. I'm just a little worried about it destroying itself, you know. Move you up to here. Get these soldiers up over here. Oh, that was maybe a bad call. Alright, let's open fire. Oh, didn't take damage that time. Open fire from up over here. Oh, they're so cool, man. They're so cool. They're absolutely awesome. All right, let's uh, let's win Memphis over here. There it is. There it is. Absolutely glorious. Now, these guys do need to heal up a little bit because uh, we took a fair bit of damage there. I'm not sure what happened. I actually have to look that up. I mean, I'm not sure if it's like the result of anything in particular. There's, there's the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. We wanted these... Well, we wanted this forever. So it's nice to finally have it. Hopefully we'll be able to hold on to Memphis. Oh, and would you look at that? They've got Christ the Redeemer over here as well. Uh, but yeah, that's actually, I'm, I'm very confused as to what happened there. And oh my Lord, Memphis is basically the entirety of their holdings. Memphis is basically all of Europe. Oh, wow. Okay, well, that's interesting. <laughs> that's very interesting. We'll, uh, we'll see if we can hold on to that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Low stability now as well on their end. Are they going to see a civil war breakout? What do they have still? They have one more city somewhere up over here, which we can send our tanks and stuff against. Fair enough. What's the deal here? Civic backlash is at Avaris Communal Rights. Let's take a look. So we have Communal Rights giving us the procession act, uh, action if we want to use it. But I mean, I, I don't want to lose Communal Rights. Why would I do this? Avaris will refuse this demand changing our way of life. Not a chance, buddy. Not a chance. Got some of our settlers moving around. These guys, I mean, if we're going to be burning Avaris down and, and joining it to Sip Bar, then I kind of want to stay over here. Uh, it's been pointed out as well that, yeah, we should probably, like, expand Ninua or Asher. Asher is still a one one territory uh, region. I suppose we could spend spend a little bit to change that. Oh, we can get coal and aluminium here. It's funny, these, uh, like, underdeveloped or undeveloped central, uh, like, steppe regions. It's, it's kind of funny, actually. Uh, just how abandoned they've, they've remained. I just see no value in even spending that 19, uh, you know, influence, I suppose. You know what I mean? Like, uh, let's see. Alright, let's go ahead and... No, I'm gonna save it up so I can get the uh, Sydney Opera House. I know it sounds like nothing, but like, I don't know, I just see no value in attaching them. Not not, not yet, though. Maybe maybe after we get the Opera House. Alright, let's get to burning Onondaga down. It'll take just the one turn. Wow. And then we'll attach Cahokia to this, because there I see value, because this is actually a developed part of, uh, you know, a developed uh, territory to attach. Hang tight over here. Now burning down, obviously, is, is followed by establishing an outpost, which I don't think we'll be able to afford. So uh, that's a whole other conversation. Wow, a lot of things here will take just the one turn, eh? What happened here that we got the sudden boost to production? Kind of wish I had an aerodrome with the uh, with Kolkata. Um, I mean, I can build one now up over here, perhaps. Don't want to demolish this. Uh, yeah, sure, I suppose. Why not? I mean, it would hurt pollution. That's that's the why not, I suppose, is the the hit to pollution. Um, otherwise, things are looking pretty good. We have access to. Uh, we can get some torpedo boats, I suppose, if we want to change things up a little bit. We can get the apothecary for extra stability. You know what? Stability is dropping. Stability is dropping rather hard. Uh, so why don't we go ahead and get the apothecary. Plus one stability per researcher. Uh, that's not bad. Sure. It'll take one turn. Uh, then we can go ahead and pursue... Well, hang on. Man. Wild. How much production we have here. We'll get the, uh, the apothecary, and then we'll go ahead and get the... Um, the aerodrome as well. I mean, this is where most of our, uh, like, quick production happens, right? Everything gets developed so quickly at Kolkata. So uh, I should probably get the aerodrome there so we have access to those modern units as soon as we have enough aluminium for it. All right. Uh, Onondaga, I mean, I guess you have one turn of stuff that you could do, which really amounts to nothing. Um... Yeah, I mean, sure, let's get another commons quarters down over here. The highest point and the lowest. Oh, that's actually quite pretty. All right, Manchester. It's been some time since we've been up here. Why don't we go ahead and establish? Uh, I just, you know, I just, I just, I just don't know. I just don't know. Another symposium, perhaps. 
15 turns it'll take. It'll keep us busy. With victory up over here, it uh, like in, in the Americas, it uh, kind of changes what's worth pursuing. Oh, here we go. It can't be helped, part two. When your citizens were suspicious of one another, you handled things peacefully. The world has come to see your nation as a reasonable one and a good trading partner to boot. Oh, yeah. 100%. We're not declaring back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back wars. Harmony is our way. Your cities flourish in an era of increased trust and booming international trade. Excellent. Not going to complain about that. Uh, let's go ahead and continue our war, I guess. Yeah, we'll prepare our tanks to move north into deeper into Europe, right? Almost fully healed. Ooh, nice. Technological breakthrough. Furnace steel. Hmm, okay. I could either spend 10,000 to unlock furnace steel, or I could just boost my research by 15 points. Let's boost our research instead. We ignored this technology back then. We'll ignore it now for a price of 10k. I think I'm okay. <laughs> I think I think I'm okay. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's see what's going on over here. Um, go up the river. That doesn't make any sense. Move down this way. I'm trying to find the best way to get up there. I mean, there's a lot of development over here, so I assume that city is somewhere over here, like located around that. Uh, how far does this territory? Ex oh, quite quite far. Quite far. Let's go up over here. Get the high ground vision. Yeah, there we go, Thebes. Could I? If I attack, I should be able to deploy up over here and fire from up top there. That'd be pretty cool. We can deploy up over there as well. One tank would have to kind of pull back and, like, fire from over here instead. That's fine. Next turn, it shall happen. All right, a couple of idle armies. Hang tight. Um, already done burning this down, are you? 5,300 influence. Man, that is expensive. Well, hang tight. Hang tight. Same for you. We're going to go ahead and tell them to station as opposed to just skip turns. What to do next over here? Uh, the printing house? Yeah, sure. Let's let's get some more science going over here. Try and get to some of those later techs. Next turn, we will have access to the radar. With the radar comes, of course, the anti-air surveillance, um, which we're not going to need. Our, our enemies are not going to have air superiority. We're not going to have to concern ourselves with that. Uh, but then there's the anti-aircraft gun as well that we're not going to have to concern ourselves with. But after radar comes fighter jets. That's not too far away, but to actually take advantage of it, we need uranium enrichment, don't we? Nuclear fission. Damn, man. Or, uh, or, or, yeah, uranium enrichment. It's the same icon for the isotopes, and and, and it's uh, not uh, not not ideal as far as uh, UI or UX is concerned. Um, we'd have to do research institute. Sure. Okay. So once radar is done, then we do fighter jets, then we do Research Institute, Uranium Enrichment. And that gives us access to the multi-role fighter, or we go space orbital, <laughs> leading from the stars to get that uh, 300 fame. Uh, or, even further, we go for composite armor to get the main battle tank, which is, if I'm not mistaken, technically what the Arjun is. That's the tank I referenced at the beginning of the, uh, with our intro. And I believe that's actually a main battle tank, not a medium tank, but hey, look. It's a, it's, a, it's a rewritten history, right? I could be a bit mistaken. Um, India actually has a growing, uh, what's the term? Like in, in indigenous military industry? Uh, industry? I, I, forget, I forget. Yeah, they're called indigenous um, weapons because they're locally developed and stuff. Uh, but like the, uh, the, 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 the Tejas, I believe, are the, are the fighter jets and they're, they're the Arjun tanks. There's a lot of like aircraft carriers and stuff as well. Um, uh, submarines too, I, if I'm not mistaken. So it's cool to be pursuing this kind of stuff and, and, and trying to represent, you know, the modern era, I suppose. Uh, just trying to figure out what, what I should pursue first. I think the, the fighter jet for sure, but that means we'll have to come back to uranium enrichment, right? We're running out of time. We'll have enough time to see those fighter jets, but we are running, uh, running out of time. Uh, more science then, I suppose. Oh man, do we really want to get rid of the... Um, no, I don't think that's worth it. I don't think that's worth it. Surely we can generate more science elsewhere as well. Yeah, plus 24. Sure, let's go with that. And you know, I just realized at Kolkata, we should after... Oh, we are done the uh, market quarter there. Good stuff. Good stuff. I could rush this aerodrome as well. But again, I, I don't think our, our planes will be able to... You know what? Let's, let's go ahead and do it. Go ahead and rush you. Beauty. And how long will it take for us to get the uh, strategic bomber? 
six turns. The monoplane fighter. It can strike ground targets, but they're not that great at it. They're really not valuable. Like, the bomber really is what we want to pursue. 40k! Okay, we're not gonna be able to afford that anytime soon. Let's go with the monoplane fighter, just so I can at least showcase what the fighters look like. Uh, early, I think, uh, next session, probably. End our turn here, though. Radar researched. Excellent. Moving on, seven turns for our uh, fighter jets to even be available, I suppose. Well, let's go ahead and uh, hit Thebes, right? Yeah, let's do it. This is total war after all. Bring the uh, complete destruction of the Zulu way of life. They're actually going to step out and attack us. Well, this will be interesting. This will be interesting. Uh, our side is a lot weaker, actually. Oh. Oh, they have a lot of ships, eh? <laughs> They've got a lot of ships. they got a lot of Carex, Cogs. Ah, see, here's what's concerning. I know this might seem a little funny and like, oh, well, that's not gonna, that's not a problem. Numbers, <laughs> numbers make a very big difference. Numbers make a very big difference. Each of these guys can do a little bit of chip damage and turn by turn whittle us down and potentially, if not win the battle, at least destroy a tanker or, or, or maybe even two. Hmm, okay. I was not expecting to be concerned about this battle, I'll be honest with you. That's why we dove in like that. But this is actually pretty interesting. Um, not only interesting as a situation to be in, but interesting as a bit of a cliffhanger as our strength is almost down two to one. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this session, but this is where we're going to call it. The war with the Zulu will come to an end very early on next session. We'll look to declare a new war right afterwards. I'm sure we'll be able to uh, uh, pull together enough war support. If not against the Zulu, then against the Persians. We haven't gone to war with them in a very long time. Sorry, that's the Mexicans. That, that was a weird misread of the color. Oh, wow, we actually don't... Huh. We don't have that much war support. It would have to be a surprise war, and I don't know if I how I feel about that. We actually get along quite well. We'll have to we'll have to figure that out because uh, we can definitely show off some of our uh, new equipment. You know, we've got the aerodrome over here as well and everything. So so I, I wouldn't mind pursuing that actually. Uh, but folks, for now, that's the session. Hope you had a good time. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know down below by leaving a like and a comment. As always, it makes a very big difference. Just let me know what I should, you know, keep doing, what I should slow down, what I should pick up the pace on. If you've been enjoying this series, don't hesitate to subscribe as well, by the way, folks. I noticed uh, quite a large percentage of folks watching, you know, 27 episodes in now are still not subscribed. So don't hesitate to do that if you'd like to uh, support the channel in, you know, sort of an additional way, I guess, and, uh, and show your love for humankind. But folks... As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.